Hello everyone, I am Vias Lutfi and now you are on Devindo YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to save data to local database with SQLite. So this is a basic of project you can be done by do flutter create name of your project name. If you like NVVM, I have created some plugin you can install it so this is will easily to manage your project. So you can search via slot fee like this and you will see this flutter generator. So install it and yeah, this is great. You can see or read this about how to use and we will implement this package. So first one, this is a main package and do like this windows with control shift V and micro sf shift command p so we'll do like this and search for dev window generator like this after that this is a name of project you can say anything to create for folder i say mvvm and this will create like this this is mvvm will generate automatic and we'll see in this is dependency need to remove this is just copy this dependency and go to pubspec yaml and replace this dependency as before this is uh, can be removed like this and just save so after that you will see in this mvvm has mine dot that this is not replace mine the mind of your create of the project because i think if you have run project before and implement this package you will hungry if this rewrite mind dot that so if you beginning in project you can just delete mind dot that like this trans and move mind dot that as in lib move here and after that you see like this locator we never create and set of locator we has create just import it like this mvvm app locator you can see in here app mvvm and locator after that this dependency you can delete for this file so just delete and after that just running go to create integrate terminal and you will see like this and do flutter pub uh, you can see documentation in here yeah in here and just copy this and paste in example like this and enter and you this will generate all of this file yes will generate like this and before red error now become or no error more so go to main.dart and import service like this and roots import like this so you can save it and now we will create service to local database before it we must install sqflight like this you can do just copy this and back to your project and pass back and paste after pet provider like this just save and now we will work in service so first one i will create database service like this and inside here i will create service for this database because in this video i only want to create one column so i'll create will inside here if you have many column you can create cloud of you want so for first is will define class database service and first one i will do static database database like this just import this uh, from sklite like this and after that for first one i will create initial data so i will create future and this is database and the name is initdb this is up to you what's his name and we use async 
and after that define directory of your database so this first one we will do directory get from path provider so first one we define directory like this so name is directory and i will do a white get application document directory like this this not a with but a white and just import for directory.io click like this after that i will do name of database so we'll do string path name for directory dot path and this is a name of database in here i will define as barang dot db something like this after that i will define is open database the first one is path after that is version version of database i will define for version one and after that is on create this on create we never do so just define as create db like this this is still error because we never create for on create this just do this and we will return barang database like after that we will create for create the db for first one this is a method for void and create db this create db will define for database as db and integer for version will do asynchronous and first one we will execute tabel of database so uh, we'll do a white and db execute something like this and i will create tabel name is barang so create uh, this is uppercase create table this is a name of your table i will rename is pa barang and i will create in this database have first one is have id it is a integer value and this is a primary key and i think is auto increment after that i will defend for barang this is a text and after that is jumlah this is a integer thing like this and in this will this call this open database i will create for print so i know this is database will be create so this is just message to debug after create db we can do for checking for of this database has database or not so we'll use method for future database and get database this is asynchronous and if this database has null i will call initial db just copy and do database await initial db and if not we will return database so this is method will check is this database has data just return database if not we will call this open database and create for db after that for first one i will create method to insert this is insert method i will use future and this is as integer and in short like this i will define more for model barang like this and this is a object and asynchronous this barang become error because we never define for model barang so first one we will do will finish for this step so this is called database db will check await this database yes so first one i will check to this database if this database have written so we will call this database after that we will do initial this because in escalate written as integer so we will do like this found white db dot insert we can use method insert insert to tabel barang and this is a object of data it is to i want to map yeah like this this is insert so before we continue we will create for model barang so i will create with up quick dot type the name is barang and for first one i will define for id 
id as integer and barang as string like this and for uh, jumlah is integer something like this this is bracket yep and defend for to map make all properties optional just copy this and go back to your project in this we have utils I will create folder for models and create file barang dot dot just paste to here and go back to database service just import for barang uh, sorry this is a uh, barang sorry this is not here but in service so move here and move yeah, yeah this is in service just import like this okay my mistake so so after this await for db and insert is this have f insert it to so we will return the count like this this is for insert method next we will create for method update some like insert just copy and paste in here insert will change to update and this is still barang object and do a white database and this is a white db and update update so this is a name of column and this is for data and we'll do we'll check where id and we'll check where argument object id is same so do like this if this uh, data has data with this id so we'll update for data inserted this is written for count and after that we will create for method delete just copy from this and paste like this rename update to delete but this is not barang and object but is this is uh, integer uh, i will name as id so we'll call a white database and this is db dot delete and this barang this is not use object to map just delete and where id and object dot id is removed just like this so this is will check if this data has id same id will automatic to delete after that this is for create update delete and this is for read first one i will read all of data so read all data so first one i will define uh, just copy like this we will use some of method this is a list of barang and i will rename get barang list for first we will get just barang so this is not list this is a uh, for specific id just like this and this is integer asynchronous and we'll call db and for this we can call future and we call list map as string string and dynamic so this bracket will name as count this is just delete and name as count and a white uh, nope this is not a white because we will do query in here query in barang where id as id after that i will check for data this a white for count if this data has if has length more than null or not null or not zero so we'll return barang from map and we return data first this if this data has data so we'll return like this we will get or so first find of this data we will not we'll just return null like this this is not all tapi but specific id after that just copy this i will do for read all data read all data just like this just delete and this is as list like this and i will rename barang list not request anything just like this database will call database and do future 
this is not future but list uh, list map map dynamic map map dynamic and a white a white something like this this is not used for db or anything where but i want this data just written order by name order by name of barang so like this this is not count just delete but this is for integer count uh, this i will rename not count but map list because this is a list of data barang so integer and we will count for map list how long this my please just delete for this first bracket and last bracket like this just count so if this have length so this is a uh, as list barang i will define barang is barang list and this is a list of barang something like this after that i will i have defined for list barang so i will for each uh, for count for this length for this count so just do for integer e if integer e as null e less than count e plus plus and this is for barang list barang list like this add barang from map as map list e this is not with this nah something like this so i will for this we'll get list of barang so first one is query for barang order by barang uh, if this have length so this is will return back to list barang so this add is convert from barang map list map list for this because before format is list map li, list map a string and dynamic this con this method will convert to model barang so like this after that this is a return for barang list okay this service has done after that we will work on screen i will separate this video to next section or part 2 so stay tuned to next video don't forget to comment and subscribe thanks